Hello everybody, I'm Lance Goyke and this is the single leg deadlift. Wish me luck. So I'm right here, I'm gonna kind of RDL, try to not lose my balance. I'm gonna RDL until my hands are about at my knee level and then I can kind of bend my knee a little bit more until my hands get to the weights. And then I'm going to, just like a deadlift, I'm gonna push the floor away and bring the hips forward to make my body stand up. And I feel good hamstring here. I feel good glute at the top. I don't feel my back. This is amazing, I should do this more often. <laughs> Come back down. Same idea, just reversing the pattern. Cool. So single leg deadlift is difficult because um, let's compare it, right? So a single leg deadlift versus a single leg Romanian deadlift. I start with the weights at the top on the RDL and I get that feedback right away. It's easier to maintain my balance. I have to get into a position without feedback. See, it's hard for me <laughs> at least. Without feedback. And then I need to find the right tension to initi uh, initiate my push off the ground, right? Cool. Uh, single leg deadlift, very cool for uh, training that posterior hip musculature, your glutes and your hamstrings without um, throwing in extra tone on your back that you might get from double leg stance stuff. But to look at it from a, I guess, more positive standpoint, this single leg variation is nice because the asymmetrical nature of your stance gets you a lot of the gluteus medius on the side that is working. And that's important for coming over into walking and for stabilizing your hips and for optimizing your mobility.